Big bold text appears and reads, Sightless Living. Copyright symbol 2021-2024. Sightless Living. All rights reserved. Then disappears. Hello. Welcome to the channel. This is Sightless Living. If you're new around here, my name is Anita. Today we are going to talk about the Native Notes app on the iPhone. I love using the Notes app. I like to jot down notes if I'm in a meeting or maybe I'm out with friends or just out and about and I need to write something down or I just remembered something that I need to write down or an idea popped in my head or I'm in the store. Then I like to put that in the Notes app and when I get home, I can deal with it. When you first open the Notes app on your iPhone, you'll get a blank note and the first line will usually be bolded and large, depending upon what your settings are in your phone. Mine came with 23 point, so it was a big, large text and it was bolded. I use my Notes app a lot. So that was not suitable for me. I wanted something basic that anytime I open my note, I can just type what I want to type or dictate, save it and move on. Today, I'm going to show you how you can change your default settings in your notes app to be more compatible with your writing style. So let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I have to go into settings. I'm going to find settings on my home screen. Settings, one new item. There it is. I'm going to do a single finger double tap. Settings. To open it. Now we're open. Now my phone has a lot of apps on it. I know I have three pages. I'm going to select an app to put the focus there. General button. And now I'm going to take my three fingers and swipe upward to get to the bottom of the page. Page two of three. Page three of three. Now I'm on the last page, three of three. I'm going to find the apps button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Apps button. There it is. I'm going to do a single finger double tap to open it. Selected appsbooking.com button. Okay, that's one of my apps. I got to go to notes, which is in the ends. So I'm going to swipe upward so I can move downward on the screen. I need to go to end to find notes. Page two of four to page, to page, to page, to page. Notes button. Okay, there it is. I'm going to do a single finger double tap to open notes. Notes heading. Now I am going to look for notes start with. On my iPhone account, switch button row seven to. I am going to look for new notes start with. New notes start with title button. Okay. If you haven't altered it in any way, yours will probably say title as well. So I'm going to do a single finger double tap to go in there so I can change my settings. Selected title. Now I am in new notes start with. Let's go down the list and check out the selections. Selected title. I'm currently on title, which gives the first line of my notes a 23-point text, which is in a heading style, and it's bolded. Heading. The second option is heading, which is an 18-point text, also in a heading style, which is bolded. Subheading. The third choice is subheading. That is a 14 point text, also bolded and in a heading style. Body. 
Body will give me 14 points, which is the standard text and not bolded, which is what I want. So I am going to do a single finger double tap to select it. Selected body. Now you can change these at any time. You can select whatever you want. If you want a big font, you can pick the 23 point, which is the title, which is what your phone comes with. You can pick the heading, which is an 18 point size font. That's also a heading style and bolded. You can pick the subheading, which is 14 point. It's also the same size of the standard body text, but it is bolded and the body is not. So you can choose whatever you want. If you want to do something like an outline, you can always choose one of these style headings by selecting the text. That's how simple it is. And then you can go back by hitting the upper left hand corner for the back button. We'll just hit the upper left hand corner and find our back button. Title, back button. I'll do a single finger double tap to go back. Back button. I have to go back again to get out of this screen. I could either go up to the upper left hand corner and hit the back button, or I can do a two finger scrub in the Z pattern real quickly to go back. Settings, notes, button. And I'm back to settings, but I'm still in notes. So I'll do that again, my two finger scrub. Apps, button. Now I'm back to the app section. I'm back as far as I can go. I can take my single finger, slide it upward on the right hand side of the phone or the left hand. So I'm going to slide my finger up until I hear App Switcher. Settings app Switcher. And my settings is active. I'm going to close it. What I am going to do is swipe my finger, a single finger up. Close settings. And single finger double tap to close settings. Notes. App Switcher. Notes. Current action. Close notes. Active. I have the notes app open. I'm working in that. So I'll just do my two finger scrub. So it doesn't bother it. Doc, Safari. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this little demonstration beneficial to help you change the settings for your notes app. If you don't like the 23 point bolded text that appears when you hit a new note. Now this will not change the format of your older notes that you have made thus far, but going forward, each of your new notes will come out in the style that you chose. I chose body, which I have been using. I set it back to title so I can show you that's how your phone came. Well, that's how mine did. But going forward, your notes should be in the style you chose. So as I move forward, Mine will be in the body type, which is a 14 point, not bold. Great for me because whatever I write, notes, thoughts, ideas, plans, I know they're in 14 point and they're not all over the place. I find it much easier to have a standard text to type from rather than having a bold heading style which for me, if you typed right after that, it would be bold for maybe a whole paragraph before you realize rather than sending it and then people think you're yelling at them. If you find value in the videos at Sightless Living, consider subscribing to the channel and joining the fam. That's all I have for you today. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Rolling credits appear in big bold white text scrolling upward from the bottom of the screen. Text reads, Anita, hostess slash visionary, mountain stream video, TM symbol, videographer slash editor. The rest of the text may be read in the description box below. Thanks for watching.